This insane gold hoarder exploit is back and better than ever. Before we get started, I just want to say I'm trying to reach 7,500 subscribers, and if you could help me get there, that would mean a lot to me. I also want to thank this commenter for pointing this out. I've seen a ton of comments about this exploit being back in tons of different ways, and I will explain my reasoning as why I go for this one, but this is this is the one I'm using for the video. While this exploit is the same idea as before, I want to re-explain it as well as what is different about it this time around, because there are quite a few things that could impact how you do this. To start this exploit, obviously you're going to want to use the Gold Hoarder Emissary if you can, as it will maximize your profit. You are then going to head to Sea Dog's Rest in the far west of the map near Port Merrick, but there are a few things you need to that are different for the actual process for this time around as well. As before, vote for a vault quest, this time a regular one, not a national one, and I believe this works with either the captain's or the sailor's vault quest, but obviously you want to go for the better one if you have it unlocked. If the compass is pointing at the island and vibrating, then you will have to cancel the quest and revote until the compass is not vibrating and pointing at the island. So pretty much vote until you get a quest that doesn't have a map piece on this island. Once you do this, start digging around the island, and there's about a 50% chance, maybe a little bit more, that the key will be on this island. For some reason, with the way that this quest works now on this specific island, I could only get this to work about half the time. Whether this is because of my inability to actually find the chest, or the chest was actually on a different island, is a complete mystery to me. But if you're not able to find the chest containing the key after a few minutes of digging around, then cancel the quest and do it again. You should still easily be able to get a key in less than five minutes even solo so even though it doesn't work 100 percent of the time like the previous one it is still the best way to get vault keys by far and we're going to be able to get pretty close to the old vault key exploit you can then choose if you want to actually do the vault or if you just want to go sell the keys either way since this isn't in the ashen area they're not worth quite as much but i would definitely at least build up your emissary before selling the keys i honestly in my opinion it's way quicker especially if you're solo to just go sell all the keys but if you want to do the vaults you will still get tons of loot and stuff it's just a little bit more risky and takes a little bit more time the first tip that i can give is if you spawn really far from the island from sea dogs rest you can either relog which is what i did in my demo or you and hope for better luck or you can vote to dive for the wild rose tall tale and get sanctuary which is probably way closer than where you're currently at saying so you'll come up at sanctuary outpost the next is probably the most helpful for actual efficiency and it's to do this with as many people as possible even though this is possible with a solo or a duo doing it with three or four people will greatly speed up your chances of finding the chest quickly especially since now you don't know if it's actually going to be there or not. If for some reason you aren't able to get the chest to appear on the island, I found that shooting out of a cannon or dying after canceling a quest or while no quest was active sometimes helped me get one that with the chest on the island. As I said before, there is some luck involved and I might have not actually just been able to find the chest. It actually very well could have been there. But just remember that you could get unlucky with and have problems with finding the chest. So even though it is 50-50, you could get five in a row where you don't get the chest. That's just could be how it is. An alternative to actually digging up the key is you can dig up the map pieces found when the compass is vibrating. This will spawn skeletons, and killing these skeletons has a chance of dropping loot and even special loot items like this one. While these are not as valuable as the actual vault keys, you can get multiple per dig, and they're still pretty good. So if you don't want to take the chance and deal with all of the back and forth with possibly being able to get the map piece, or, or with possibly being able to get the chest or not, just dig up the map pieces and kill the skeletons, and you might get enough loot through that way. And if you have multiple people, you could have, you know, you have, uh, you'd have to have at least three people for this, but if you have two people voting, and you have one person on the island and every time you get a map piece they just dig it up and kill the skeletons real quick you could stack all of the map piece skeleton killing on top of the rest of your loot that you're already getting and you could actually probably double your efficiency as far as take home money because you get ones where the map piece is on the island pretty often because this version of the exploit isn't in the devil's roar you won't have to worry about volcanoes and which is great however this area of the map is much more populated and i had tons of ships around me while i was doing this so make sure you are completely stocked up on resources and if you you are not there is a nearby sea fort and you can go there with a storage crate and get tons of stuff and fighting supplies because chances are you're gonna need it also a little side note before we get into the demo if you didn't know there's a hidden cosmetic on this island and if you don't have it or don't know about it i would recommend looking up sea dogs rest cosmetic or little riddle um because you're already here and it might be fun to grab i'm gonna quickly show you a demo of me doing the exploit and then i will show you how much potential you can make and how much i made on my solo demo first for my solo demo 
demo, I spawned super far away. Galleon's Grave Outpost, about as bad as I could get. So I re-logged and then I got a better spawn, Sanctuary Outpost. Once there, I went ahead and put up my Emissary Flag and started sailing to Sea Dog's Rest. Once at Sea Dog's Rest, I voted for the Vault Quest until I got one that I that didn't have a map piece, compass not vibrating, all good like it should be. Within 10 random digs around the island, I had my first key. The next two quests I put down that didn't have the map piece didn't give me a key. Like I said, I don't know if I couldn't find them or if they were actually spawning on different islands. I just want to talk about this real quick. I am going to break the fourth wall. I'm post-editing this video, and I didn't think about the fact that if you do, or if I had done... And if I had actually gone and got the map pieces, I would have been able to tell if it was spawning on multiple islands or if it was just spawning on this island. So if somebody wants to do that and let me know the outcome, that would be very helpful. I also just want to know if anybody has any ideas to make this more efficient to where you're not missing it part of the time. It still works great. This exploit's still amazing the way that it is, but it's not nearly as good as it was previously. And I just want to know that if I just want to know if, if you have any ideas or you have something that will for sure do that, then let it let me know. I'll pin your comment and if I can, but that would help all of us, including myself and everybody around us, the entire community that's watching this video, that would help us a ton. I tried for about two hours and I could not figure out anything, but if you know some way to like reset the island, reset the quest to where it always shows up on Sea Dog's Rest, like I said, it'd be very helpful. But either way, I just went ahead and gave up, revoted for him, and I was able to get another one on Sea Dog's Rest. Like I said, I was able to find the chest, whether because of different reasons or not, I was able to find the chest about 50% of the time. So yeah, my next two quests after that didn't give me a key, and like I said, I couldn't find them. On my third vote, I was able to get another chest, and I continued this process all the way up until Emissary Grade 4. Now I said it to sell at Emissary Grade 5, so why would I only go to 4? Well, I'll explain that in a second. At this point, I had also gotten one of the special items from killing skeletons around a map piece, just to showcase it. I actually got it first try, so they're not that rare. After I reached Emissary Grade 4, the area I was in started picking up in player and world event traffic, with many players, skeleton ships, a kraken, and even and other dangers probably lurking less than an island away. I decided to. Go, it was time to go sell what I had already got. I got five keys in about 30 minutes and one of the special whatevers of power, and I was only at Emissary Grade 4. With this, I made a total of about 60k and 1.5 levels of reputation. Meaning, in an hour solo, you could get about 120 gold, 120k gold per hour and 3 levels of rep per hour. But the potential is so much higher, because if you have 4 people, you presumably should be able to do this about 4 times as fast since it's literally just man time, man hours of just digging. You should be able to get about 40 keys per hour, meaning a total of about 500k gold and 14 levels of reputation per hour. That's assuming you're with a very efficient and large crew and you're selling at Emissary Grade 5 but that is the full potential for what you could possibly do with this. That's the best I think somebody could do with this exploit. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. And as I said at the beginning, I'm trying to make it to 7,500 subscribers, and it would mean a lot to me if you could help me get there. If you have any exploits to share, let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.